I'm glad you're tuning in to my online show, Words and Beats, which is a free edutainment show combining education and entertainment for you and your whole family. You can watch it every month right here on my YouTube channel. I'm sending loving vibes to you, my viewers, and I hope you're all staying safe and warm in this snowy month of February. Thank you all for joining me, and I'm thrilled to share with you today's program, Different Like Confetti, encouraging children to accept differences in themselves and others. But first, let me share with you a few scenes from the previous episode of Words and Beats. Don't forget that life rocks. You're watching the second episode of Words and Beats, the Larissa G Show. Moving on to the main topic of today's show, have you ever thought about how easily we may take the things around us for granted? Today's episode of Words and Beats will revolve around the idea that the things that are readily available to us, such as enjoying the outdoors, spending time with family, sharing a social experience with a friend, listening to favorite songs or cuddling with our pets can help redirect our attention from negative realities to a more positive way of thinking. I felt it would be important to recognize that the COVID-19 quarantine and stay home lockdown has had a significant impact on children as well. With that in mind, during the summer quarantine of 2020, I wrote the song, Don't Forget That Life Rocks. And then I decide to turn the song into a visual arts project and then turn it into a book. My hope was that reading my book while listening to my music track will help children better cope with negative thoughts, feelings, and events, particularly as related to the COVID-19 pandemic. Don't forget that Life Rocks is fun for the whole family and will lift your and your child's spirits during these difficult times. Since 2019, I've been branching out to other topics affecting children besides autism, the challenges of social anxiety, of building independent skills, of accepting differences in others, and of being able to think more positively. Now I'm on my way to the World Trade Center Memorial over there. And after that, I will be taking a video of Ellie, the illustrator of my book. She will be telling a little bit about herself, her future plans as an artist, and she will tell us about how and why she was able to relate to the topic of the Don't Forget the Life Rocks project. I'm Larissa G, and you're watching the third episode of Words and Beats. In today's show, I'd like to focus on the theme of encouraging children to embrace differences in others around them and recognizing their own unique gifts. What inspired me to write a song on this topic were my own experiences and social challenges that I faced growing up on the autism spectrum. I was also inspired by my experiences volunteering in the special needs community during my school years in the Leonia School District in New Jersey. Confetti comes in different shapes, sizes, and colors, yet each piece shines and sparkles, adding something unique to the bunch. As people, we're all different in many ways, but what we have in common is that each and every one of us has something unique to offer. To make this concept approachable to children, I created a character of a middle schooler named Bill who faces everyday challenges in school. Using some principles of music therapy, I help Bill express his feelings in my song, Different Like Confetti. Once the song was created, I turned it into a book and a visual arts project. Without further ado, I now would like to screen the music video featuring my song and illustrations by a high school artist, Adrian Curdy, which I'm excited to say you'll meet later in the show. But for now, here's Different Like Confetti, the video. Last week, I met a boy named Bill. Bill told me he has trouble in school because he cannot sit still. So together we wrote a song about what Bill wanted to spill. And here it goes. Short, 
sad or happy, shy or chatty. We're all so different, so colorful, just like confetti. Some touch to read the letters, others lean on a cane to walk. Precious gift, the luck to sing or talk. Have you ever wondered why some folks do well in all they try? I myself, I struggle. Have a hard time with a lot. Whether trying, trying hard, real hard or not. Trust me, it can get real tough. Breezing through a school day in a huff. I feel. struggling with ADHD and learning difficulties, I hope Bill successfully conveyed the idea that everyone has something valuable and special to offer if we just stop and notice. Bill not only recognizes his challenges, but he acknowledges his gifts too, like playing guitar, drawing and painting, and basketball. Most of all, Bill encourages children to embrace differences and to look at others with their heart. 
To keep up with the Kids for Kids trend during the summer 2020 COVID-19 quarantine, this book was illustrated with humility by a 16-year-old Leonia High School student, Adrian Curti. I chose Adrian from a pool of applicants from the Leonia High School Arts Academy because I really liked his artistic style and imagination. I feel I made a great choice. And here are the activity pages where kids are encouraged to write down what makes them special and to draw their own unique confetti. Talking about art, music, and diversity, I feel compelled to step out of my home and get you a little acquainted with my hometown of Leonia, where I was born, raised, and attended school. I'll meet you there. Here I am on the grounds of Leonia High School from where I graduated in 2011 and which is attended by the illustrators of my books, Ellie Wang, Adrian Curti, Mikoto Ozawa, and my sister Victoria. Being in a community with a rich artistic heritage made it so easy to find high school artists to illustrate my books. at the Leonia American Legion post where we honor our veterans and the Leonia community. Now a little bit of Leonia history. In the 18 and 1900s, Leonia was a noted art colony. It was home to many professional artists and later flourished into a community bustling with creativity, a hub of photographers, writers, actors, illustrators, painters, and musicians. Leonia has been home to notable artists such as singer Pat Boone, entertainer Sammy Davis Jr., actors Buddy Hackett and Alan Alda, and singer-songwriter Al B. Shore. Leonia has two theater companies, its own chamber ensemble, and its own sculpture garden, and more. Here's a mini book library. You could take a book and give a book. Really cute, huh? Many Leonia artists put out their sculptures here. It's mostly modern art. And this looks like the sculpture of David. Peace out. A little bumblebee and there's a butterfly over there and here are the musicians which totally makes sense because a lot of musicians live here that reminds me of the Leonia Chamber Ensemble now you'll get to hear the illustrator Adrian Curdy's own interpretation of the topic of different light -like confetti. I wish Adrian the best of luck in his future path as an artist. Leonia, represent! Hi, I'm Adrian Curdy and I'm the illustrator for Different Light -like Confetti and I'm also a junior at Leonia High School. I really had a great time illustrating this book. I don't know. I never did anything like this before, and I just felt like it would be a great opportunity. I also really resonated with the message behind it, and, you know, the fact that there's this boy named Bill, and he doesn't quite know his, like, if it's okay for him to be different, but in reality, it is, and he realizes that at the end. Sorry for the spoiler. Um, anyways, um, I don't know. I really had similar issues. I struggled with self-confidence and some social confidence as well. Um, but now I'm just fine because I realized that um, it's okay to be different and I shouldn't really focus on what other people think. 
you know, like I'm different and that makes me unique. You know, I shouldn't be like everyone else. You know, I should be me. And well, that's precisely why I wanted to illustrate this book in this style especially because well trying something different worked so well for a book that is about being different you can purchase my book different like confetti as well as my other books here on kdp amazon to purchase 10 books or more please visit the online bookstore of my website www.larissagmusic.info where you can save on bulk orders and get free shipping. And please don't forget to download the accompanying music tracks for my books to make the reading experience even more enjoyable for you and your family. Welcome to the Autism Talk Spot of Words and Beats. Growing up on the autism spectrum, some school days were real tough to breeze through in a huff, just like it was for Bill. I frequently struggled connecting with my peers, who, like myself, knew that I was in many ways different. Although I did very well academically, that did not help me much socially. I filled the social void by keeping myself busy with extracurricular activities like martial arts, theater, and music. When opportunities to perform in school came up, I jumped on them enthusiastically. When my peers heard me perform, they often cheered for me and talked to me afterwards. Although we did not always grow close, I felt better about myself because I was noticed by my peers. As a child, I was really fortunate to have been provided with the opportunities for extracurricular activities by my parents and school. I recommend for parents and teachers to help children with autism find something that they can be good at and enjoy and help them persevere through these activities. And that in turn will most probably help them be more self-confident and be noticed and appreciated by their peers. And that's what I wanted to say on the Autism Talk Spot today. Coming up next is the live music corner of Words and Beats. I'll catch you there. Welcome to the live music corner of Words and Beats. I'm your host Larissa G and staying with today's topic, I'd like to entertain you with a little bit of musical confetti. The medley of piano melodies that I'll play include famous tunes from a variety of genres and styles, ranging from jazz to Latin, folk rock, film soundtracks, and Broadway tunes. Let's see if you'll guess the common theme of this musical medley.
guess what these melodies have in common? You probably did. It is, of course, love, which is in tune with the snowy month of February when we celebrate Valentine's Day, the holiday of love. And just like Bill said in my song, look at things with your heart. Thank you so much for tuning in to Words and Beats, Larissa G Show. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, give this video a like, and leave a comment below. And I'll see you next time on Words and Beats.